What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here, guys. I hope everybody's doing well. This is going to be part three in our series of analyzing these orange pies. Make sure to go back and check out the first video on the orange pie five. Second video, the orange pie zero three. And now this video, the orange pie five plus. Are we going to get better hash rates out of this one compared to this one? Or is it going to take more power or less power? I'm excited to see, guys. But let's first take a brief look at the difference of these two and talk about the prices of them. This one's about $120 versus about $80 landed. Now, these guys have different heat uh, coolers on them. This one is a $20 cooler, $18. It's pretty expensive. Uh, this get up was probably about $6, a dollar for the fan and $5 for the copper heat sink. Um, so I am interested to see on the cooling difference between the two of them and the way that they are cooled uh, <clears throat> or if this one is even going to run hot. And what other heat sinks options? Now, make sure to go and check the other videos where we discuss heat sinks and we discuss the cables. So, without further ado, this guy um, is the Rock Chip 88S, which is stripped. It basically only has one HDMI out, where this is the 88 Non S, and this has three HDMIs out. So they basically stripped this chip down to the bare essentials uh, compared to the full chip. The full chip has more HDMI, um, it's got more bandwidth, it's got probably more bus lanes, and there's some significant differences between the two of them. As you can tell, it's also a significant price difference, about $40. I'm sure that has a lot to do with the uh, connectivity, but still, four gigs of RAM, four gigs of RAM. So let's go over to the PC and see what kind of hash rate we're getting out of this guy. Just as a quick recap, this one produces about seven mega hashes on average. Uh, I've seen it average a little higher, 7.2. I've seen some of them average 6.8. Uh, but this particular one, we're gonna say is about seven mega hash on average. This one got 1.8 mega hash. And this one, let's go look. Well, right now it's getting about 9 mega hash, but it's averaging at 6.4. It's only been running about 15 minutes. So we'll have to come back and kind of check this a little uh, in a little bit as we continue to make this film. But um, very curious to see where that average is. I would hope it's not lower than the other one. And of course, there's the silicon lottery. Um, let's take a temperature check. Nice. 55C. My ghetto <laughs> cooling is working better than the ice cooler. Although the ice cooler looks so good. Let's come over here and take a look at this. Yeah, see, we're getting 67 on the mining hosh. Or even 68. Yeah, we're getting 68 really consistently in the mining software. Uh, versus at the pool. So it's probably just going to take some time to average out. So we can probably expect 6.8. That's what we were getting with the smaller, cheaper board. Yeah, unless you really have the need for the extra connectivity from a mining perspective, not the Orange Pi 5 Plus. It's just not worth the extra money. I'd stick to the Orange uh, Pi 5. Let's go back over there and take a look at the power and compare that. Excuse the wiring mess. Lots of testing going on. Well, that was a little deceiving when we first got here. But, uh, yeah, it's about the same. 9.2, 9.3 on the Mr. Glass cables, which I'm sure different cables would produce different results. So you guys want to make sure to check that cable um, video that is coming out. All right, guys. So... That pretty much concludes our test. They are essentially the exact same processing power, uh, but with less I.O. capabilities. Um, and a lot cheaper of a price. We're getting almost identical hash rate 
comparatively to this one. Although this one, I think, is a silicon lottery for whatever reason. Um, but, uh, you know, when you start thinking about the other ones, and I only have one of these, but they are really seeming very similar, 6.8 to 7 mega hashes, and right at the same amount of watts. That, and as I mentioned in the other video, I do know that you're seeing 9.2 watts. It, as you... Each brick has its own base power load if you were to plug in multiples. And remember, do not go over 80% load. It will balance out at about 8.5 watts per unit. Um, this one may not because of the extra I.O., but this one does when you plug in all four. And as I'm sure you guys have noticed, the mystery device sitting on top, that will be another video coming out. So stay tuned, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. And keep Varus mining on. And if you guys have not researched merge mining, when as people are going to start buying blockchains, uh, any time now, people are already starting to launch projects. There's a lot of stuff in the works. We're expecting those to be uh, hitting the network at any point. So it's going to be a good idea to pull out to start building out your network. So we have opportunities to use the same amount of power to mine multiple networks, up to 22 networks within the Varus ecosystem. So that's going to be very exciting times, guys. And the fee pool, and learn how the fee pool works. We just saw 50 Varus blocks about three, four weeks ago. And the, the bridge is just launching by the time you guys see this. And there's going to be a lot of stuff happening. Uh, so you guys really need to look into it and research it more. Thanks again. Stay tuned. Varus ID provides a virtually theft-proof Varus Vault capability, which allows you to time lock an ID, enabling you to actively stake all funds and controls while still requiring that the ID be unlocked and wait for your originally specified time delay before any funds can be spent. During the unlock time, you have the ability to revoke and recover your funds if the person who unlocked them was not you. You can use the Varus Vault feature to protect against funds or identity theft, and you can also use the Time Lock feature to set up flexible trusts, vesting schedules, and more. It's your identity upgrade for a digital world. It's Varus ID. Download the free software at Varus.io and register your Varus ID today. Truth and privacy for all.